Calgary Charity Group provides support for Canadians whose pets have cancer. A Calgary Charity Group is getting ready for a busy summer helping Canadians going through a tough time. The Collie's Wish Cancer Foundation provides support for people whose pets have cancer. Among other things, the organization sends out free care packages to those people, including items like pet blankets, treats and toys. We'll ship them all across Canada, said Collie's Wish Executive Director Kate Smitko. On Monday, one of the group's volunteers Heather Rutherford, along with her dog Lucas, was visiting the facility where the care packages were put together. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Before she got Lucas, Rutherford had another dog, Tommy. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer, Rutherford said. Three months afterward, he did pass from the disease. Rutherford was left with great memories of their time together, volunteering with Tommy. He would go around and provide pet therapy at seniors' care homes in the airport, she said. We would show up and just kind of bring a calm energy into the room and provide some love. Read more, it's beautiful to see, Virtual Pet Therapy Comforts BC. Long-term care residents during COVID-19. Rutherford has continued that volunteer work with another pet. My cat Taz has kind of taken the torch from Tommy, Rutherford said. Taz volunteers at the airport and at care homes. Rutherford also volunteers with Collie's Wish, running an online support group. If people have questions, or if they just don't know where to turn, or they just need that support, then yeah, we're certainly there, she said. Collie's Wish is raising money to support its efforts during May, which is Pet Cancer Awareness Month. Anyone wishing to support the charity can purchase a paper star for Collie's Wish at participating Pet Planet stores in Western Canada. Last year the campaign raised $10,000, so we're hoping to do the same this year, Smitko said. She said 30% of Canadians have adopted a pet during the COVID-19 pandemic, and this means there will be more dog and cat owners faced with cancer diagnosis. Smitko said her group's services will help those pet owners deal with the disease. It's care for the entire family, she said. Saying hello to Lucas has definitely brought benefits for Rutherford. I rescued him from Tijuana, Mexico, where he was a stray on the streets, she said. Lucas is now on his way to carrying on the family tradition of providing pet therapy. Lucas is still a bit too high energy for it yet, so we're trying to get him involved in pet therapy visits, Rutherford said. So hopefully soon.